Yeah. All right, what's up, guys? This is Lucas, and um, this was suggesting me that I should do this um, by Henry and Savi and some other people. And also, we haven't posted a video on Snakes Gaming in a while, so I decided I would make one. Uh, this is going to be a setup video. Um, I'm not sure how these things work. From what I've seen in the past, people just walk around the room and just show their setups and their room and that kind of thing. And um, it's going to be a great experience, and I'm going to take you on it. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I haven't done one of these before. It's, kind of, it's not exactly a vlog. I hope it's not exactly a vlog. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And um, let's start off with the room. Not much more to say. Hopefully I'll post uh, more gameplays in the future because our channel and we uh, generally as a clan have got pretty good clips and gameplays. And um, and yeah, we'll see what's up. We we'll, might upload some in the uh, near future. Yeah, let's start off with this side of the room. I've got some medals from like Sports Day. Nothing major, you know. Um, Oh yeah, another like a talisman from uh, Turkey. Uh, Turkey was actually the first country that went abroad to. So um, that was quite a while ago. I'm not sure how many years that was ago. But basically, that's that's a, that's from that. This is something that I made in DT. Obviously, you can't really make it out. The lighting is pretty terrible. But basically, there are some silvers and some bronzes um, from sports from sports days, mostly for 100 and 200 meters. And I think one was for javelin. And we have some posters: uh, Superman, Michael Jackson. Uh, Ghostbusters, Top Gear, and Back to the Future, and also Black Ops and some other ones um, somewhere else, I'm not sure where they are, I can't really hang them all up because there's not too much space, uh, but yeah, uh, moving on, we have my stereo system, it's pretty good, I mean it makes a lot of noise, that's pretty fine, it has some pretty good inputs, and um, I mean I'm satisfied with it, I got it a while ago and it's still doing good, uh, my case for the Samsung Galaxy S3, um, just sitting there, I'm not sure what it's doing, loads of cables um, guitar books, grade 7, grade 8, I'm currently on grade 7 I'm looking to get to grade 8 because um, that would be pretty sick, but I'm being pretty lazy with it. but anyway, yeah some books again um, my name, other stuff, uh, school photos and loads of stuff, it's kind of strange year 7, I'm not sure how well you can make it, yeah that's year 7, that was pretty good this is a little uh, boat thing uh, that my dad got me from Indonesia when he went uh, over for his holiday, some Top Gear magazines, Guinness Book of World Records, that kind of stuff, Assassin's Creed books, yeah, that kind of thing, not too interesting. Um, some maths and some other papers from A level, some cables. Uh, this is Halo 4, some inspirational quotes. Uh, Kindle, um, this is a present from Innocent Possum. If you're watching, dude, thank you so much for this. I actually haven't played this yet. This is. Um, Fallout New Vegas, it's inside there, and we have some Stephen Hawking, some more Stephen Hawking, and some other physics books, but I'm not sure how interested you are, guys, because this is a gaming channel. Some mass books again, um, Amplifier. Uh, this thing is a beast. This is a Line 6 um, Spider IV, well, Spider 5, 75 watt amp. This is a pretty good one, makes a lot of noise again, like the speaker system. And I'm not sure what else I can say about it. I mean, it does its job well. Um, if you put the master volume over 25%, you will literally die. Um, and we've done that before, it just literally kills your ears. This is an effects pedal, this is pretty useful if you want to have your effects like flange, wang, there's, there's loads of different stuff. If you're into guitar, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're not, it doesn't matter. Yeah, this thing is pretty good as well if I'm doing stuff. This is, um, my box is for Astro, so when I'm going to lands, I always pack everything into these uh, these boxes because they're pretty good for transport. So you don't want to get you don't want to get rid of those. That's mostly that side of the room, and this is these are my guitars. This is a um, Epiphany Les Paul uh, Starburst standard. Um, this is from America. This is a pretty good guitar. It's not a Gibson, but it does its job well. It has some very it has a very very nice sound. This is my acoustic. This is actually the first guitar that I ever got, and I've got one more Strat in Lithuania. But that's that's pretty much it. And we've got some CDs, some Xbox games. But you know, you get the gist. And um, we'll slowly make our way onto the setup. I know the lighting isn't amazing, but we'll see what we can do with it. We'll just try and make do. This is a dust cover. I um I recently got my BenQ XL 2420T. Now, if you're if you've got a gaming monitor or if you were looking at ones. You probably know about this, uh, this is nicknamed the best gaming monitor in the world by a number of people for multiple reasons, but if you want to check out this monitor, I'm not going to go into like an in-depth review. You can check it out on YouTube, there's, got load, there's loads of them, reviews wise. And I'll just give you a quick rundown, basically why it costs so much and why it is nicknamed the best gaming monitor in the world is because it has a really, really low response time, uh, not response time, input lag. I think it's like 2 milliseconds or something ridiculous, like grey to grey, I'm not sure about white to white. White to white might be like 5 milliseconds, but it's pretty good. This is a dust cover for it, so that's a pretty cool um, extra detail. Um, yeah, BenQ, their nickname, gaming is in the details. Um, this is, I guess, a detail uh, from what people have uh, been saying, not many monitors do have dust covers. That's pretty cool. Um, also, the uh, BenQ has an S-Switch. Now, this thing, you can, like, set certain presets uh, for the monitor, so let's see, oh yeah, it's like a touch sensitive over here. 
um, if you like switch it on and you have like certain settings that you want to put on like for example some might be a higher contrast or sharpness you can set those and um, and just quickly access them without going to the menus this can also control the menu which is pretty cool so those are a few features of that um, and this is the monitor itself um, also I'm not going to go into too much detail but again it can I can I can tilt it, go up and down, go left, right, 40 degrees, and I can also put it into portrait mode. I'll just show you a little bit. I don't want to tilt it fully because I've got cables in there, but yeah, that's what it does. It just has loads of things, so yeah, it's it's pretty good. Um, Astro TX unit, Astro RX unit, Astro headset on the little um, headphone hook at the back, so that's pretty cool. Loads of cables. Um, so that's a pretty good monitor. It costs 180 pounds, but if you want to get 120 hertz, yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to mention it. It can run 120 hertz, which is 120 frames per second, which is pretty nuts. Um, it's not really useful for me because I'm doing, um, I've got an Xbox which is capped at 60 frames per second. But if you have a really good gaming uh, PC, that's really useful. Um, this is my PC, Dell Inspiron 14Z. I'll put all the links in the description. Dell Inspiron 14Z, this was a birthday present. It's actually a pretty good uh, PC, Intel Core i7 with 1.9 gigahertz clock speed, which is pretty good. Um, but not amazing, it should be like 3 gigahertz for Intel i7, to be honest. This is the Hopog HD PVN. Now, this is the crazy thing. This TV, uh, mo sorry, not TV, monitor. Oh, my light just went out. Uh, this monitor has loads of inputs. VGA, uh, DVI, two HDMIs, loads of USBs. It does not have a component cable input, which is really stupid, because what it means is that I can't really run all... <laughs> well, basically, it just means that I need to get this converter thing, uh, which cost me an extra 40 bucks. But the monitor itself is pretty good. I'm not sure what else I can say about this setup. It is pretty good. I'm kind of running out of time because my um, phone does not have much memory left. So I'm not sure. It'll just cut out any second now. But yeah, this is the gaming setup um, currently as it is. It's quite complicated with all the cables and stuff. It is quite a mess. But it's pretty nice. And I thought you might enjoy this. So this concludes Lukey's gaming setup. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm not sure what you can take from this. I'll post all the links in the description. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed... And uh, hopefully more videos coming soon. See you guys.